everyone. Today I'm going to show you my vegetable garden. I know. I made you wait. But in Missouri, you got to work around the weather. So I'll take you row by row and show you what vegetables I planted. I know a lot of gardeners plant different varieties of the same vegetable, but I don't. I get it in the ground. I eat it. Sometimes I can it. Around here, gardening is a way of life. And most people around here still do it in the ground, not the new raised bed method. Although, that would be nice. Since I still do in the ground gardening, you're going to see a lot of weeds. It's life. What I mainly do in the garden is pick weeds. So, let's get to it. This is my okra. Emerald okra is what I attempted to plant. It didn't do very well. I only had three plants survive. I ended up going to the store and buying three bonnie plants. They still don't look the best. And I'm not sure why, if it's lack of water or poor soil. These are my Brussels sprouts. I started these inside and transplanted them out. These are a cat skill. This is my third year attempting to grow Brussels sprouts. This year looks pretty good. My previous two did not. Next we have cucumber. This year I bought a brand that is specific for pickling. As you can see, I have three arches. That will be my trellis. And I will train the plants to grow up and over. Should make picking really easy. These will be my eggplant. I once heard that if you buy quality seeds, they should last for five years. I'm testing this theory out. And it's not so much with eggplant. These, the seeds that I originally had were from 2014. I could not get them to sprout. Eventually, I went and bought seeds for this year. They're a Black Beauty eggplant. I finally have my first one to sprout. Kathy June, if you're watching, those eggplants are for you. This plant is something new I'd never heard of. It is called kohlrabi. It's similar to a turnip, but milder. I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Next are my cabbage. They're early golden acre cabbage and they're looking really good. You'll notice that I have plants that just didn't make it. This actually provides a perfect opportunity for me to do offset planting. I can go back and fill in those empty spaces and have crops that come in later. Coming up next is my broccoli. It's a calabrese doing really well. You see the empty spots, but you see opportunity. This is my second year doing broccoli. I planted it for the first time last year and it started off looking really good. And then I had a life changing event. I'll talk more about that later. Wait a minute, back up. Yeah, you see that stick right there? That's my row divider. Sexy, isn't it? This is my cauliflower. It's Snowball X. Doing really well, except I am starting to see the white butterflies. So, it's going to be time to start doing some pest management. This is what's left of my spinach. I planted matador spinach, and we've been enjoying it for a couple of weeks now. It's starting to get pretty warm, so it's getting ready to bolt. I decided to let a couple of plants go to seed. I've never collected seeds before but I thought it might be fun to try. Next is the dill. I planted fern leaf dill. Can you guess what I'm going to be canning this year? This plus the cucumbers. Now we have my carrots. I planted Danivers half long carrots. There's plenty of room for staggered crop planting, and it's time to start thinning them out so I'll get to enjoy baby carrots. 
This is another crop that I really like to can and have all year long. Now if you think you're seeing two rows of beans, you are. One is green beans and the other are frijole beans. The green beans are looking awesome. I'm not having very many problems with bugs. And if I can, I'll show you that they're just now starting to bloom. Right there. I'll be enjoying green beans very soon. What you are looking at are tomatoes. What you should be looking at are tomatoes and peas. But I have another critter in the garden that likes to munch on my peas every morning. I think I'll be letting Travis take care of that critter. I found out that you can plant peas and tomatoes on the same trellis because while the peas are producing, your tomatoes are still small and not doing much. And by the time your peas are done, then your tomatoes are coming in. And this year, I planted two varieties. One are the big boy tomatoes, and then I also planted Roma tomatoes, which are very good for salsa and spaghetti sauce. And these are my frijole beans. Again, something new. I've never grown frijole beans. Those are the beans that you use when making refried beans. Kind of a tan bean with brown spots. Here are my bell peppers. I only had one plant survive of my seed plantings. The rest are ones that I had to buy at the store. Now here is a garden fail. I planted four hills of squash. Two of black beauty zucchini and two of butternut squash. Two hills came up and two did not. So I replanted. Except I don't know which was which. I may have four hills of zucchini or I may have four hills of squash. I don't know. This straw is going to be a lifesaver keeping weeds down. Here are my pumpkins. They are jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. And I know I planted them way too early but I was getting impatient. Here are my cantaloupe. I was having a little bit of a hard time getting them to come up, but I think I've finally been successful. These are Hale's Best Jumbo Cantaloupe. And watermelon. These are our all sweet variety. They're doing very well. And this was a hard year for peppers for me. I've attempted three times to plant Anaheim peppers, which are kind of a spicy chili pepper. I've yet to be successful. Time to go to the store again. And here is my asparagus bed. We've been enjoying asparagus for quite a few weeks. And yes, I share my asparagus with my chickens. I did that on purpose so they could just reach through and get some whenever they wanted. And there's still plenty for us to enjoy. You see this purple flower? This cheap plastic spinner? This is the best deterrent for moles. I put those all over my yard and as the wind blows and turns them, it sends vibrations into the ground and the moles don't come in that area. And finally, here is my strawberry bed. This huge cage around it, my husband built and it's awesome for keeping birds out. You put chicken wire all around it, and the birds don't get in. Oh, there's a spinner. And I wish you could see all the strawberries, but you can't. Just have to take my word for it. They're really good. So, there it is. What do y'all think? I want to give a big shout out to Brian Teal at Teal Farms for the straw.
you're going to save me from doing a lot of weeding. Well, I got work to do. See y'all later. It's just now June, so subscribe to me and follow along and we'll see how this thing turns out.